Hello YouTube, back to the next Bound of Pony view, although it's a little, it's mostly temporary because I'm, I don't have a whole lot to talk about beyond the, uh, you know, G4 I'm not going through. I'll have to think about what I'm going to do next to replace it. But for now, I've got uh, Pony Life and uh, G5 to uh, talk about. Let's start with Pony Life, which from my perspective is already a disaster. It hasn't even been released yet, but I don't think there's any reason to... I mean, yeah, I know, the, I know there's the whole thing about, you know, don't judge by its cover, but this is a disaster. This is what they're trying to get you to watch. If you're not interested in the, you know, if the teaser doesn't get you, if the trailer doesn't get you, good luck finding the, you know, the uh, teaser now. It's been taken down for copyright. It was god-awful music inserted. And to show you how bad that was, I couldn't even watch the teaser all the way through. That's supposed to get you into the show and kind of get you intrigued into watching it. I'm not doing that. It's flat out, I mean, the idea is flat out lazy. They're not even putting in new characters. All they did was change the style and made them all hyperactive. Yeah, that's great for a show. I mean, that makes you think everyone's on drugs. And they usually do that for humor, like, for a split second. I mean, Pinkie Pie was the only one in G4 to uh, feature that. Now, if everybody's doing it, what's the point? There's nothing to watch. And it's Slice of Life. Seriously? We had nine seasons that were mostly slice of life. What's the point? What are you bringing to the table now? The, they're clearly running out of ideas. There's no other explanation for that. I mean, this is flat-out laziness as a whole. I'm not watching it. I have no reason to watch it. I, if I couldn't even get through the teaser, what makes them think I'm going to watch the entire show? I'm not. And besides, it's not going to last very long anyway. It can't, because we got the... Uh, G5 movie in 2021, unless something magically changes on that. But I'm... I don't even understand what they're... This is a disaster. I mean, yeah, they're trying to go on trends, but... At least G3 had something else going for it. It had at least a couple new characters you could kind of pull away from... You know, the usual group that we've, we've uh, come to adore. But this has nothing. There's literally nothing... You, no incentive to actually watch the show. Bad animation, bad reused characters. I mean, come on. Every generation has had new characters. This is pathetic. I could probably come up with a better idea than that. And I'm not even a director of an animation studio or someone like Hasbro who's done this for years. That says a lot right there. So that's a big negative on my part, on uh, their part. It's going to be a disaster, and it doesn't matter how well it does, because, again, it's going to have to be cut short. So, so regardless of how it turns out, it's going to be a failure. So I'm going to move on to uh, G5, since I kind of sort of made a segue into that. I'm really hoping they go back to more G3 style, both in terms of how they look and, you know, the stories they get involved in. Because that actually worked. That's why it lasted so long. I mean, the only reason why they ended up switching it up is because they, the toy line wasn't doing very well in 2006. But that was after three years. That was three years of, you know, G3's success. It was a very successful run. I mean, it had multiple movies released. You know, so... I'm really hoping they do better than this. I'm not optimistic about it, though, honestly. I'm really hoping it's not the main six again for the G5. I mean, that would that would be flat out, that would be the worst thing they've ever done. I mean, not even G1. You know, their first movie, I know that didn't do very well. I enjoyed it, so I don't really understand where the negativity came from on that. I probably would have loved that, but I wasn't into Mountain Pony until I got to around 13, so... But I'm really hoping for brand new characters, whole new look, and then at least then I can give it a shot. I mean, Philly Fantasia almost looks better than uh, what Pony Life is, and uh, they end up being, of course, that's still only airing in Italy at this point. There's been no word on it coming here. I have a feeling it might. That would be better than what we would, could potentially get in G5 if the, artist, if the uh, early concepts are any evidence. I'm really hoping there's... I would think there would be more variation, but hey, we just had Pony Life, and that's no variation at all except for the art style. So that's my review on G5 and Pony Life. Thanks for watching.